the horrific scenes uh, which have moved millions of people around the world, though not everyone. I'm seeing on social media the traditional knee-jerk response, uh, blaming the people of Gaza for the fact that for 10 whole years they have been imprisoned in the biggest prison in the world. I'm grateful to the former British Prime Minister David Cameron for that description, from which there is no entry, there is no exit, there are no hiding places, there are no bomb shelters, there is nothing except in the most densely populated piece of land on the earth, a killing field. A killing field in which you can die quietly from starvation, from poisoned water, from no electricity, uh, from no medicine. You can die silently with no one paying the blindest bit of attention. Or you die periodically under this massive bombardment of the world's most powerful airplanes supplied direct via the largest of the United States taxpayer to the Israeli armed forces.